Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. So, today my plan was to go bring the Supra to the garage and install some acoustical parts, which we just got in. We'll show you in a bit here, but I looked outside, it's kind of raining, and uh, we just washed my Supra the other day, so I don't really want it to get dirty. And also, we still don't even have access to our bay. The city is still working on renovating the back area there, so I think it's still gonna be another week. In the meantime, I figured, hey, why not just uh, do some custom stuff? Let's be different. I got the Cusco parts, and uh, right now, I think they're like one of the only brands that are offering the backup suspension parts, like the tower brace, uh, the sway bars, the... Here, you know what? I'll just show you guys. Dude, yeah, believe it or not, we actually have a majority of all the parts already in our possession for the Supra. It's just a matter of lining up the days and scheduling out the installations. You know, I, I kind of want to take my time on this build and not just like plaster everything on and call it a night. That's not my style. Plus, my Supra is actually still in this break-in period anyway. That's not going to stop us from working on some of the performance parts that we can work on. This is the harness bar for the 2020 Supra by Cusco. So this is gonna be replacing the stock bar that sits right behind the seats. Everyone's running this right now, and even though it's blue, it'll match the Supra pretty good. Kinda wanna do custom, so I picked up some Plasti Dip and more paint, and we're just gonna paint these green because, you know, Kmar. Yeah. And the bigger box, just got this in too. It's a uh, carbon fiber replacement engine cover. And this one is by YMP. So we'll probably throw this on when we install the Cusco Tower Brace. Let's bring these to the garage. We'll see you guys there. That didn't work out the way I planned. Destroyed my wheel, no! I'm definitely gonna feel that tomorrow. The things you do for the internet peoples. Before Vine was abolished, it was do it for the Vine. All right, let's open these Cusco parts up and show you what we got. So here we got the rear trunk bar, which also acts as the harness bar, and the front tower brace, also called power brace. And these were made by Cusco. And for those who are unfamiliar, Cusco is one of the top leading brands in chassis aftermarket support. The only thing is, their staple color is blue. I know they do kind of match the Supra, but knowing me, since I like to be different, we're gonna be painting these today. We got all the paints right here. We're not actually gonna be powder coating them. Um, because I kind of want to keep the Cusco blue. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to be Plasti Dipping these. Now, I know for a fact that these braces aren't anywhere near a place where it's going to be too hot, but I did get heat-resistant paint just in case. 
and this is the green that's going to be going over the white Plasti Dip. The reason why I'm using Plasti Dip is because if ever down the road I want to change my mind, I can just peel it off. So I'm just going to set myself up and uh, let's get to painting. Alright, got our makeshift little booth area here and all of the bars set up crudely. These aren't going anywhere, so you can get to painting. Lego! Alright, so we've waited a few hours for the Plasti Dip to dry. Basically, I'm using white Plasti Dip as my primer because maybe down the line, I want to change my mind, I can rip it off. So I think it's time for the green. We're going to be using Metal Cast. And this is actually paint that you use on Chrome. So it should look close to this, but since we're using white primer, it might be a little more vibrant. And I guess depending on how saturated we want the green to be, it really all depends on how many coats of this stuff you use. So yeah, let's get to it. As you can see, the bar is a lot greener now, but we're only on our second coat. I plan on doing at least four so that we can get it closer to that KMR Kelly green. After the fourth coat, we'll let it dry for a couple hours. I'll probably speed up the process by using a heat fan or something. And then the next step is to use the metallic spray. So this Duplicolor spray can is what's gonna give you that sparkle effect on the paint, almost like OEM. And I've actually kind of tested it out. Took the bolts off my rally backer and I repainted them black and I sprayed it with this Duplicolor stuff. Check it. It's almost like a rainbow effect. It's super sparkly. Mm. Alexa, play <laughs> Play it's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful Oops. Okay guys, it is the next day. I think I'll go outside for a while. Just taking some clean fresh air. back second day and went to the garage to pick up the bars which we waited a full 24 hours for the paint to completely dry. So let's start with the front tower brace and while we're at it we can throw on the carbon fiber YMP engine cover as well. I think it's easiest to just put it together while it's off the car because um, it comes in three pieces but it's pretty straightforward. Damn I almost forgot I got bubble tea but I may have lost the straw. Actually this one has no pearls because I get kind of bored of the flavor and chewing on the black pearls. So I don't ask for pearls in my bubble tea. This is winter melon dew tea and it's almost like uh, an Asian version of iced tea. Mm. Now we can get started. Mm. Pure sugar water. All right, we're gonna start with carbon fiber engine cover because it's probably the easiest thing. Come on, you come to join? I may need your help. Whoa, 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 stop. What is with this generic ukulele vlog music bullshit? Whoa, chill, man. That ain't like you, man. Hey, I'll change the song. So baby, you just gotta transfer some of these rubber grommets onto the new one. Now it's all just you got me on blast, and you're over it. Oh, I've been Ooh, I'll go and say it like a mantra. You know what you want, do ya? No matter what you tell yourself I should have known that we could We could never be friends Alright, so next up We got the tower brace Let's quickly put it together here And remember guys Handle with Car Care What do you think? 
Holy shitter. That's sick, man. <laughs> Those come green already? No. You painted them? Right? Yeah. There were some angles that I couldn't really get, so some parts of the brace are a little lighter than others, but that's okay. They still turned out pretty decent. <laughs> have a wait it's here yo this might actually be a perfect fit i got this in japan thinking i'd put it on the frs or use it for something but it was a little too small this might actually be okay dude that's like the perfect fit what yeah I'm, I'm totally gonna keep that awesome to the effort of taking this one off too, but even this one's a little too small for this whole look. Little gap. Once you got that assembled, you can bring it to the bay. You guys made it super easy to install this. Except this is probably the hardest part, which isn't even that hard. It'd probably be easier if you took off your wheel, but again, we have little tools here. We don't even have a jack stand. It's all at the other garage. So just take your time, kind of just try to find the bolt. And just take your time. The reason why I say this is super easy to install is because you're using pre-existing holes on the A90. So once those are tightened, you can go ahead and tighten everything else. Should be good. Once everything is tightened, you can go ahead and peel this blue wrap off. This is gonna reveal that beautiful shiny silver chrome. Ooh, ooh. Sick. And they give you a little Cusco decal. So I'm gonna put this somewhere. They actually gave you like little spots here to put decals. Okay guys, this was like a super easy 10 minute install. Let's move on to the rear harness bar. Sick. So this one actually didn't come with its own hardware. You're gonna be using the OEM bolts that are already on the Supra. Did some research and I can't find anything on how to take these off. So I'm just gonna try. Looks like regular trim pieces that are just clipped on. Try to access it from the rear. Take this piece out. I'm kind of scared to try and force anything, so I'm just gonna really take my time on this, okay? What you want to do is you start from underneath this rubber liner. And once you can get into that, follow it up along the edge. Oh, f Before I go any further, I'm asking one of my boys online if he knows if all of these are clips or if some of the areas are bolted on. Because if I know that they're all clips, then it's just a matter of finessing them out of the spots. Yeah, he says, I think those were all clips. Double I think. Good enough for me. All right. Sweet. This is where I'm at. Oh. So you managed to get this piece off. So take the light. Uh, sorry, guys. You look in here. On the upper part is this black clip. I don't know if it's connected as one piece to this trim piece or it's part of this. It's really hard to tell. Then there is actually one white clip right behind this wall. It's kind of hard to get underneath it without scratching this up and, I'm, and that's kind of what I'm afraid of. So I've been using a microfiber towel and a flathead and I've been trying at this for like the past 20 minutes and I'm kind of scared. You know, I might actually have to accept defeat on this one, guys. The thing is, um, 
I really don't trust myself. So I'm gonna leave it to the professionals. I'll try to see if I can bring it to like Ape Garage or something to see if one of their garage guys can help me out with this because yeah, this is a first. I can't find anything on the forums. At the very least, we got some work done on the front and I did take it for a little test drive earlier. It handles corners. All it's missing now is a little drop and uh, yeah, the lightweight wheels, the TEs. I'm actually so excited to see what the bronze looks like on this downshift blue. It's still in its braking period, like I said, but we're halfway there. It's like 800 kilometers. Uh, push it a little bit, at least until 1500. And after that, I can go crazy on the exhaust mods. That's really what I'm waiting for. Right now, just little things here and there, more vanity stuff, really. Trying to do some DIY firsts for the A90 that haven't been done before. That was kind of the idea with the FRS. New platform, new decade, brand new 2020 Supra. In the YouTube world, I'm kind of late in the A90 game. I just have a feeling when the four cylinder version of the A90 Supra comes out, or is it gonna be the A91? It's gonna be the more affordable version of this thing. I feel like the Supra is gonna be devalued, honestly. I'm scared it's gonna be like the next FRS BRZ. So I'm gonna hop on things before that happens. And yeah, try to do DIY firsts here. Guys, I appreciate you for watching this. Hopefully you learned something. We are gonna try to install the harness bar another day, but for today, this is all you get. This is all I get, really. This is for me. Actually, no, this is more so for you guys, to help you guys out if you wanna tackle any DIY at home projects yourself. So hopefully you were able to take anything away from this video. Appreciate you for stopping by the channel. And if you guys wanna get updated on when new videos come out, hit the sub button with the notification button ticked, drop a like, and leave some good vibes in the comments. We'll catch you guys on the next vlog. Ciao. Yeah.